stretching from my belief beyond any doubt that God will really show you grace and mercy. Amen. 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 I believe beyond any doubt that we serve an awesome and a mighty God. Um, I would want you to just invite somebody because it's going to be awesome in this place. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I love it when the Bible says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go unto the house of the Lord. Amen. But I, I love mostly what um, David says. David says, a day in the house of God is more than a thousand years Amen. with people. So the, the, the time you find not only to invest, but to be in the house of God is time that has to be cherished. Amen. We are going to get to a moment where we are going to pray Amen. and say, God, as I am in your presence, Amen. everything that you have, you, you, have, you, you have invested that I must receive, may I receive it today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Everything that I must receive, may I be able to receive. Amen. Open up your mouth and say, my father and my maker. My father, my father. As I begin to pray, Everything that I must receive tonight, may I be able to receive in the name of Jesus. May I be able to receive in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and begin to pray. Ebre tola kasko panto uskatua rato lokos apala de rede dodo kos kapala manto us apanteli gabarada kaya irede de 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 ya arako la parade katomba rada kata iraba de be ya katomba la barada katoa reska bala katomba lata raleko de bayata everything that I'm supposed to receive may I be able to receive in the name of Jesus. Parale kataya kai era de 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 yataka pura de 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 karada ala do 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 reke deke laka daka yakata era kwaba daka lata mantos apala rante iskeleba iparande ichata laswala barande kate ibandoa mia zoele bada kataya pales kataya barande kataya baresa kataya my bless Blessings I receive, my deliverance I receive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Merege deke yakatai, abrekantes kalabada kaitaba, riado basanda, abrekantos kaladabaya, irande katei banse talabaya. My God, in the name of Jesus we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Sit down, but don't go down. Praise God. Sit down, but don't go down. Amen. Oh, God, look at your neighbor and say, I'm not here by mistake, but I came here because God wants me here. I'm so excited to be seeing, hey, hey, I'm so excited to be seeing you and everybody who's in the house of God. Amen. Amen. And I believe that the journey we are starting, there is a Lord that God is going to be doing. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Can I have some few volume? Praise God. Amen. All right. Faithful God. How many believe that God is faithful? Amen. How many believe that God is faithful? Amen. Praise God. I believe in God's faithfulness because I have seen his faithfulness. Yes. It takes a person who has gone through the experience to stand and say, I have seen his faithfulness. Amen. Praise God. Let us go to the book of Romans, chapter number 4, verse 18. Romans, chapter 4, verse 18. I believe we have some small volume, if you can hear me. Romans, chapter 4, verse 18. Romans is just after the book of Acts. If you don't find it there, you need deliverance. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Romans 4, verse 18. Praise God. I will start from verse 17. As it is written in scripture, I have made you a father of many nations. In the sight of him in whom he believed, 
that is God who gives life to the dead and calls to being that which does not exist. In hope against hope, Abraham believed that he would become the father of many nations. And he had been promised by God, so numberless shall your descendants become. For we believe in a God who calleth things that are not to become to be in existence. I don't know if I'm communicating to somebody this morning. The God who calls things that are non-existent and by the mention of his word, things become existent. One of the things that you would realize that affects a lot of people when it comes to believing in God is the consistency of their experience with God. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. The consistency of their experience in God. This morning, the Lord was ministering to me certain things, and we have most of the time spoken about encounter. To an extent whereby people have prayed about encounter, decreeing God, I want an encounter. And, and the Lord began to minister to me and say, have you not read in the book of John chapter number three that I came to give what is called eternal life? I did not just come for you to have encounters with my presence. I came to give you a life where you dwell in my presence. It's not just about an encounter, but there is a life. The faithfulness of God is not limited to a location. The faithfulness of God is not limited to where you are coming from, your background. The faithfulness of God is not limited to what happened last year. God is faithful because his name is faithful. Amen. God is faithful because he has the ability to be faithful. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Numbers, God is not a man that he should lie, Amen. nor is he the son of a man that he should repent. Amen. Will he say it and not fulfill it? What makes men to lie is because they can say things that they do not have ability to fulfill. That is why I can promise you a car today, but when time comes, if my finances go another way, I will tell you that things are not going well. But when God promises a thing, it is backed up by an ability that whatever he promises, he is able to do it. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? When you read your Bible, I love it when the Bible declares that the Lord is faithful to do that which he promises. Where we are reading, the Bible says, and Abraham believed God. Because God told him you become the father of many nations. The same God who caused dead things to become alive. The same God who comes to a place where something that has been made to be said that is non-existent. When he speaks a word, non-existent things become existent. Amen. Faithful God. Yes. Faithful God. Once you come to a place where you have the experience of the faithfulness of God, once you come to a place where you believe in the faithfulness of God, it does not matter the situation you are going through. It does not matter the predicament you are going through. It is the faithfulness of God that gives you the bravado. It is the faithfulness of God that gives you the confidence that irregardless of what I am going through, there is a God who is mighty to serve. God's faithfulness. God's faithfulness. God's faithfulness. The Bible says, and Abraham believed God in hope against hope that he shall become the father of many nations. Child of God, it, 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 is, it is one of the most complex situations when you look at the life of Abraham and the experience of Abraham. The Bible says he believed God in hope against hope. 
Do you know what that means? He was at a point where he was now at a hundred years. He was at a point where the wife has reached menopause. But he kept on holding to the word. Irregardless of the situation. Irregardless of what is happening. He said, but there is a God who said, they will make you a father of many nations. So in the hope that there is no more hope, Abraham fought hope against hope. So there is hope in his, there is a, a, a hope of impossibility that your age no longer allows. There is hope of impossibility that your background no longer allows. There is hope of impossibility that where you are coming from does not allow. And it is in the same situation that Abraham arises in hope. He said, if God said it, so shall it be. Amen. If God said it. If God told you that I will make you to go nations, if God told you that I will make your business to become great, if he said it, you will fulfill it. Amen. You will fulfill it. It does not matter where you are coming from, what men told you, what men declared, what men said. It is and it is not. If God said something will happen, it does not matter the obstacle. It is in the ability of Yeshua Hamashua that anything that was regarded impossible in his introduction, impossible things become possible. Amen. Faithful God. Faithful God. The faithfulness of God must become not just an attitude, but the faithfulness of God, it's his character. Amen. God's faithfulness, it's his character. It is his being. Because there is no way he will say something that he cannot do. Yes, Amen. There is no way he will promise something that is not in his ability. I love it when the Bible apostle pauses and said, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches. He has a backup. My supply is according to my reserve. I have a place called glory. I have a place where there are riches in glory. They are not just riches, but they are backed up with glory. The glory of God is the splendor of God. The glory of God is limitless. It can't be limited. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. It is a person who has not yet come to a place where they have had a conversation with God and studied what God has done in other people's lives that you can doubt on the ability of God, that you can doubt on what God can do, that you can doubt on the power of God. We are living in a generation where there are many people who have many, who have many opinions of what God can do and what God cannot do. We live in a generation where many people have different opinions. What is it that God can do? What is it that God can do? Amen. Where people can mix science and biology and they try to bring God and say, God, can God do this? Can God do this? Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Can God do this? Most of the times you see people doubting on God. Most of the times you see people doubting on God, sometimes because of their experiences. Amen. If somebody has been hurt before, it is hard for them to believe certain times that God can heal. Because when they were hurt, it took them a long time for them to heal. But it was because God was not involved. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. That is why the Bible says, if the builders build without God, they build in vain. Was God introduced in the situation? Abraham at a place where he is at a hundred years. That's the first time he's having his child. Sarah at 90 years. Sarah is carrying a child. And we all understand if you ask women, they will tell you when you are pregnant, it's another, it's another, not spiritual warfare, it's another biological warfare. <laughs> so there, are, there are things that start happening in the body you don't understand. Certain appetites that you start having, certain pains, certain, 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 a love for sleep, a, la a laziness that you, you don't understand yourself. Sarah at, at 90 years. 
She started experiencing that and she was still strong. Mm. Yet at 50 years, you see, you see, you see, you see another lady, they cannot even walk. Sarah, at that age, Sarah was still walking, climbing mountains. At a place where Abraham was over a hundred, he took his son, went with his son to sacrifice him in the mountain. He was still climbing mountains. Over a hundred. Over a hundred. He still had the ability and the strength. Faithful God. Amen. Faithful God. When God has chosen you, it does not matter where you are coming from. It does not matter your background. It does not matter the lineage you're coming from. When God has chosen you, he backs you up. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Abraham's situation is not just a common situation. It's not a common situation. When you read your Bible in the when you read your Bible in the book of Genesis 11, the Bible declares that his father Terah took Abraham, took Sarai, took 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 the, the brother of Abraham and said, We are going to a place called Canaan. Amen. Took them all. We are going to Canaan. Why? Because life was hard. Abraham was not coming from a from, from, from a life that was that was simple. No! Life was tough. It's coming from a tough life. Abraham is living in Genesis 11 with his father. At the age where man is over 60, and I know, I know the father was more than that. I believe his father was in his 90s or 100. The father is saying, let us go. Taking the whole lineage. Let us go. Let us go. Amen. They started going. They did not reach Canaan. They arrived in the air of the Chaldeans. And the Bible says that is where the brother died. That is where the father died. Abraham. They had to relocate because things were tough. They were immigrants in a land. Until God came in Genesis 12. said, Abraham, come out of your father's land. Go to a land which I shall show you. Talking to a God who he does not know. Having to have a conversation with a God whom he has never heard because he was a moon worshiper. Just a voice, come out. And a man who never knew this God came out with confidence. Amen. Where are you going? There is a God who spoke to me. I heard a voice. Yeah. Have you ever met this God? Have you ever had an experience with this God? No! I heard the voice and you promised me I will become a father of many nations. People, most of the times when God speaks to you, it sounds as if you are insane. Most of the times when God gives you an idea, it seems as if you are insane. Most of the times when God gives an instruction, it does not make sense because that things of the spirit are foolishness to them that perish. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Oh, yes. That things of the spirit are foolishness to them that perish. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Oh, yes. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. So Abraham lives and he's living. He's leaving his brothers. He's leaving an environment he's familiar to. To go and experiment in an environment he's not familiar to. To go to an environment where he knows no one. The only thing he's carrying is a word that God told him I will bless you. The only thing he's carrying is a word that will become a father of many nations. And we are in a generation of people that when they are sick, when they are told God can heal you, they, they, they will tell you, I'd rather go for an operation. Faithful God, if you can only know the power of God. Faithful God. Faithful God. Situations do not change because you are intellectually wise. Situations change because a higher power has been introduced into the matter. Amen. Faithful God. Amen. Faithful God. I will make you a father of many nations. 
The Bible says Abraham left, departed as the Lord had commanded him. Abraham left the country and Abraham began to go to a land that God had said go. And in as he's going, there are challenges along the way, but he's holding on to the word. In as much as he's going through all pains, he, 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 he faces betrayal from Lord. But what makes him to survive is holding on to a word that God said something. God said something. There is a word that God said. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Yes. When you read your Bible in the book of John chapter number one from verse 11, the Bible says, and Jesus came to his own. John 1, 11. And Jesus came to his own. Amen. And his own received him not. He came to a place where he is the Messiah coming to the world he created and it rejected him. <laughs> and the Bible says, but to them that he received him, he gave them the power to become the sons of God, child of God. I want you to understand, there is a way where divinity can visit men and they will not recognize it as visited. The Messiah, they were waiting for for years. They were praying for the Messiah. The moment he comes, their eyes are blinded. They cannot see. Their ears are deafened. They cannot see. He comes, he goes. They are still waiting for him. Do you know that there are people that are in, a, in an environment, atmosphere, where God is present and God is ready to do miracles, but still they are facing situations that they are wondering how would this situation change. Yet they are in an environment where God said, I'm going to be faithful to you. Carrying a Bible every Sunday, praying every day to a God. Why is it that God is not answering? Let me show you through scripture. When you read your Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, what does it say? In 1 Corinthians 2, verse 14. A carnal man cannot receive the things of the Spirit. Because they are spiritually descent. A carnal man, no matter, no matter they go to church, as long as they are carnal, things of the spirit they cannot receive. It's not about coming to the house of God. It's not about being a believer for the last 20 years. No, no, no. Well, it is until you come to a place where the power to become the son of God begins to operate in you. Where you begin to transform into becoming a son. A son is a responsibility where you are now standing in the place of your father. That whatever you speak comes from the father. Oh, you, you, your faith is no longer your faith or confidence in the flesh. The Bible says, cursed is a man who trusts in the flesh. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Cursed is a man who trusts in the flesh. Faithful God. Faithful God. The faithfulness of God is eternal. It cannot, he cannot change. He's not changed by your situation. He's not changed by your prayer. He's not changed by your fasting. He's not changed by your disbelief. The faithfulness of God is eternal. Cannot change him. You cannot change him. The faithfulness of God is eternal. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? The faithfulness of God is eternal. I look at Abraham while this is going through all the situations he was going through. I believe he was asking himself a question. And remember, Abraham, he came out with people from the land of Haran. And everybody came out with. Some of them, they already have children. And the father of many nations is no evidence. Have you ever been in a place where your belief in God can be used as a mockery to you? Why is it that your prayers are not being answered? Have you ever been in a place where your, your love for God is used as a ridicule? If that God answers prayer, why is your situation like what it is? Abraham, despite the ridicule, despite being mocked, he believed in God. Why? He understood God is not a man that he can lie. Sometimes we get to be in places where we are tested. 
And in the test we go through, we tend to doubt God. We tend to doubt God. Imagine Jeremiah is told by God that Jeremiah, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. And I made you a prophet to the nations. But do you know that Jeremiah, in as much as he's told to that he's the prophet of the nations, if you read your Bible, Jeremiah had only one disciple, a prophet to the nations. He did not guard the nations. It was his message, even after he died, that affected nations. But he believed if God said it, so shall it be. I don't care what's happening now. If God said it, so shall it be. I believe in God. I believe in God. I believe in God. I will not trust in my flesh. David declares and says, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I shall trust in the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and those that trust upon him shall be saved. I shall trust in the Lord. Some might have connections, but I have a God. Some might have brothers, but I have a God. Do you know that we are coming from different places? When you read your Bible, you understand. When Goliath came to David, David declares and says, you come to me with a shield and a spear, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. Am I communicating to somebody here? I might not have the connections you have. I might not have the bank account that you have. I might not have an eloquent voice. I might not have an academic level that you have. But what I know, I have a God. I have a God. And what I understand about this God, I understand the Bible tells me that with this God, all things are possible. You might see me now, but you might be surprised what can come out of my life because I serve a faithful God. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Yeah. So a carnal man cannot receive the things of the spirit. Jesus came, if Jesus came to them and they could not receive him, what about you? If, if Jesus the Messiah came to them and they could not receive him, they might not see the greatness in you because they could not see Jesus. So you must not be dismayed when men do not see your greatness. You must not be dismayed when men do not see your value because if Jesus came and they did not see him, what about you? Jesus. <laughs> they might be sitting and you are the one with the solution and they will go around for years looking for a solution you have. Why? Because if they could not see Jesus, Do you know that every environment God brings you into, he gives you equipment, he gives you, he gives you apparatus to be able to become a solution in that environment. Amen. There are two things that God values among believers, dominion and influence. And every time when God is building or he's sending or commissioning any believer, the two things he wants you to have is dominion and influence. Because it is dominion that brings you to a place where you can be able to command decisions. And it is influence that makes you to be valuable. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? Many people read the story of Joseph, where the Bible tells us that Joseph interpreted the dreams of Pharaoh. But one of the things that pains me about that, pains me about that dream is, is that God himself went and spoke to Pharaoh, although Pharaoh did not have the interpretation. If God had spoken to a servant, a servant had no power to bring in decisions. So God had to speak to Pharaoh. A life without dominion and influence. Where God has gone to visit them, he then, where there are people that are praying. Because they have no power to bring in decisions. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. 
A generation. Do you know that every invention that is on this earth, it was supposed to come out of the hands of believers. But when you look at believers, they are in an environment where they are not capable of bringing solutions and bringing and, 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 and making decisions that change the world. So you see someone down there who is a millionaire, God giving them a vision to say, can you please make a car? Because if I go to a believer, they might not understand. They might spend another 10 years praying and speaking in tongues <laughs> instead of making a decision. <laughs> Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Faithful God! So it doesn't matter what you are going through and what is happening in your life. The understanding of the faithfulness of God must be your anchor of faith. The understanding of the faithfulness of God must become your rear guard and say, I cannot be moved. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? Man toka balakatai. Psalms chapter number 31 verse 1. The Bible declares, In you, O oh Lord, I have placed my trust and taken refuge. Let me not be ashamed. In your righteousness, rescue me. I have put my trust in you. I have trusted in you. I cannot be ashamed. There is no way you can be put to shame when your trust is in the Lord. My communicating to somebody. Amen. I loved it when the Bible, the Bible speaks about the Bible speaks about a woman called Hannah. The Bible says she was barren for long, but she came to a point where she said, I'm no longer be going to Shiloh just for going. This time when I go, I'm going with a different attitude. The Bible says she arrived at Shiloh. She began to pray. She began to pray in a level she did not understand. The priest looked at her and said, are you drunk? She said, no, I am a woman who's pouring my heart to God. Faithful God. The Bible says God was faithful. She said to God, give me a child, I'll give you a prophet. When she came out and said, I heard the voice in the declaration, they thought she was mad. But she knew if only I carry a word, a testimony is on its way. Amen. God is not a man that she can lie. When David looked at Goliath, he said, you come to me with a shield and a spear. Men were standing. Men were watching. Warriors were watching. What is this young boy said? While he's standing with a man who's six feet tall. And Goliath was not holding his own, his own shield. There was an, a man in armor bearer who would hold his shield, showing you how great the man was. And here he was with a sword. And David says, you come to me with a spear and a shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. And I see Goliath saying, what? Goliath said, am I a boy? Am I a dog that you bring me a, a boy with sticks and stones? He did not understand that it was not about David. It was about what is backing up David. Sometimes you start on adventures. Sometimes you start on a business. The moment you're starting on a business, they look at you and say, do you have experience in what you are doing? I know of a God. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Do you know that there are people that have been in ministry for long? How do you say that you are going to succeed? I might not have experience, but I know of a God who is on my side. Am I communicating to somebody here? There are people that are listening to me now. You are trying to start to do things, things you never went to school for. But the reason why you succeed is that there is a God who is faithful. Amen. Faithful God. Faithful God. Faithful God. When Abraham and the whole lineage was taken by his father to go to a land called Canaan in those days and they did not arrive there. When God came, he said, I want you to go to that land. Your father could not reach there. But I want you to finish the assignment. Your mother could not reach there. 
But I want you to go to that land and show them I have broken the yoke. That is one of the things that you see when God's faithfulness shall be revealed over your life. There are things that were vowed by men that it cannot be possible in your life. You shall stand and decree, I have broken the yoke. Amen. When they look at your family, there is a certain ceiling that was put where men cannot rise to a certain level. When they hit the ceiling, they go down. But not after when you are begged up by God, empowered by the Spirit of God. David declares and says, in you I trust, in you I believe. May I not be put to shame. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? The Bible says, if you trust in the Lord and you have faith in the Lord, you shall dwell in the land and you shall be fed in that land. <laughs> Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. The faithfulness of God. The only thing is looking for in believers is can you trust me? Oh God, let, let us read on that. Psalm chapter number 37, verse 3. Trust and rely and have confidence in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed securely on his faithfulness. You are not feeding based on your salary. You are not feeding based on your hard work. You are feeding based on his faithfulness. He said, your account and your expenditure is you must rely on my faithfulness. Amen. So even if I will send you in a desert. <laughs> When they ask you, how, how are you going to pay? Tell them, I'm going to pay on God's faithfulness. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Oh, yeah. I'm going to pay on God's faithfulness. I'm going to pay on God's faithfulness. I have confidently taken refuge in thee. May I not be put to shame. I have confidently taken refuge in thee. May I not be put to shame. Amen. It is a prayer that you must rise and come to a place where your confidence in God cannot be moved. Amen. David says, I, in, in God I trust, I shall not be moved. Amen. What makes you to be moved is because most of the times you listen to what people are saying. You listen to what men are saying. You listen to the dictators of men. A carnal man cannot receive the things of the spirit because they are spiritually discerned. So the, the Bible the Bible now comes to a place where it tells us about Peter that even after Peter walked in water when he looked on the other side he saw a storm coming and the Bible says when he saw the storm coming he removed his eyes from Jesus and focused on the storm and he began to see. There is a point where your eyes have got to be fixed on Jesus. The Bible says, look away unto Jesus. The author and the finisher of your faith. I understand something is happening to your finances, but look away unto Jesus. Something is happening to your faith, but look away unto Jesus. There is something you are not understanding. Why are my sisters failing? Why are my brothers failing? Why did my father fail? Why did my mother fail? Don't focus on how they failed. Look unto Jesus. He is the author. And the finish of your faith. Amen. And he's saying, if you can only focus on me and remove your eyes from anything that is negative, there is a way I'll pick you up from where you are and put you to a place where you are going to become the one who's to do what has never been done. What makes people to do exploits is knowing their God. In the book, in the book of in the book of Daniel, chapter number eleven, the Bible says, "Those that know their God shall be strong, and they shall do exploits." What makes men to be strong is when they know their God. That in regard Regardless what they are going through, there is something they know about God that nobody knows. Regardless of what's happening in their lives, I know about my God. Amen. So a lot of people, a lot of people because they do not know God, they have opinions about God. They can tell you what God can do and what God can't do. 
I have heard so many times people, even songs being sang, that God's answers delay. Yet I heard David pray in the book of Psalms and say, Oh Lord, satisfy me early and satisfy me now. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. The Bible says, And Jesus went to Nazareth and he could not do many miracles in Nazareth because of their unbelief. The reason he could not do miracles in Nazareth is because they did not believe. Not because he did not have ability. Not because he did not have authority. Not because he could not do miracles. No! The ones he wanted to do miracles on, they are the ones that did not believe. So in as much as he wanted to do the miracles, hear me, I have, I have been around many people, even as a man of God. There are people that you can feel you have the action that the problem will end, but their level of disbelief will block the frequency and the flow of the anointing. God is saying, I have the capacity, do you believe? Yes. I am the one who created everything you should, do you believe? Yes. Do you know I can hand it into your hand? But because they are opinions, but because they are opinions, somebody told you what God can do and what God can't do. To an extent, whereby even when God comes to a place where he tells you, I'm about to change your life, you can easily swerve. You go through a situation to a point where, do you know every time when a prophetic word is released, there is a battle that comes. Why battles after a prophetic word? The enemy wants to swerve you out of your prophetic destiny. The enemy wants to swerve you out of the word that God has said. So sometimes you go through situations where you go through them and you, you can get to a place where you say, I don't think this is my portion. And even people can tell you, I, I think you are becoming overzealous on this thing. Why can't, you just, why can't you just come to a place where you accept that certain things are not yours? I believe you have heard that, that, that statement before. Why can't you believe that certain things are not yours? Why can't you believe that certain, certain houses are not to be built by people of your caliber? Ah, I refuse. The Bible declares, the Bible tells me, the Bible tells me that there is hope for a tree that is cut down, that it shall sprout and grow again. The Bible says in the book of Job, better is the end of the matter than the beginning of the matter. That you are seeing me now does not mean you know where I'm going. That you know where I come from does not mean you know my destiny. Better is the end of the matter than the being of the matter. Faithful God, speak for me. How are you going to build that vision that you are saying you want to build? It's on the credit of the faithfulness of God. If God said it, so shall it be. So sometimes certain people will look at you and they will mock you. It took Abraham 30 years for a prophetic way to come to pass. In those 30 years, there's a time where he even had another child and God said, no, this is not what I promised. There are certain breakthroughs that come that are not the breakthrough that God is talking about. Because the enemy has got his own tricks. If Abraham had held on to Isaac and said, maybe this is the promise, we would not have known a place called Israel by now. Because only Israel was going to come out of the loins of Isaac. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Certain battles you are going through are not battles about you. The devil is trying to fight that you may come to a place where you doubt the faithfulness of God. You doubt the faithfulness of God. Sarah said, can you just take her guy? I know God told you, but I don't think he can do it. To a point that when even God came and said, Sarah, you are going to have the child. The Bible says Sarah loved. I'm not talking about an angel. I'm not talking about a prophet. God was speaking and Sarah loved. So how shall it be? The faithfulness of God. The Shunammite woman, the prophet Elijah arrived to her. 
and said, you are going to carry a child next year about this time. The Bible says, she said to Elijah, do not lie to your maidservant. She had had so many declarations and prophecies before. Amen. That she said to the man of God, don't lie to your maidservant. <laughs> Have you ever been in a position where you go through a situation where you are carrying so many promises that any other promise you are given, it is, it is just like the previous promise. They wonder why you are not moved by promises. Somebody tells you, I'm going to give you a million. And they wonder why you are not smiling. I've been promised before. Oh, God is not a man that he can lie. What is it that God promised you? What is it that God said he would do in your life? What is it that God said he would fulfill? Anything that God said he would fulfill, it's going to come to pass. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Shout, I shall testify. There is no way you can doubt on the faithfulness of God. Amen. Irregardless of what you are going through. Irregardless of the history of what happened before. Amen. There is a way God is faithful beyond any explanation. God is not moved by your belief system. No ways. It only blocks the flow. He remains faithful. He remains faithful. He remains faithful. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Oh, yes. I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Yes. When you read your Bible in the book of Psalms, chapter number 61, verse 2, the Bible says that the Bible, David, David declares, let, let me read it. The Bible says, from the end of the earth, I call to you. When my heart is overwhelmed and weak, lead me to the rock that is higher than me. Lamanda Kabada, a rock that is on the high to reach without your help. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than me. There are situations that will come that will be overwhelming over your life. There are certain predicaments. Maybe you are a preacher. You have been preaching for years. It seems as if people are having miracles, but you are like Zachariah. You are entering the Holy of Holies. People are coming out with breakthroughs, but your wife is barren. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than me. There are intercessors that pray, and when they pray, people's lives are transformed, but their lives seem to be in bondage. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. There is a rock called Jesus, the unmovable rock, the unshakable rock. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses, but I shall trust in the name of the Lord. Lead me to the rock. That overwhelmingness is coming to a place where it wants you to be at a place where you doubt on God. You doubt on your, on your ability to pray and God can answer you. Many people have been dealt with by the enemy to a point that they no longer believe that they can pray and God can answer. Lead me to the rock. Look at Jeremiah said, lead me to the rock. Look at Jeremiah said, lead me to the rock. Look at Jeremiah said, lead me to the rock. When my heart is overwhelmed, being at a place where you are prayerful, but you are wondering, the more you are becoming ballistic on the other side, the battles that are rising, you can't understand. Lead me to the rock. Lead me to the rock. Amen. Have you ever realized that when you, when you are fasting, that is when more temptations come? Yeah. Lead me to the rock. Amen. Lead me to the rock. Amen. Lead me to the rock. Amen. My communicating to somebody Amen. here. <laughs> I hear what I'm saying. Amen. I remember, I remember there's a time when I was fasting and the Lord said, I want you to fast for so and so days. I went into fasting. Ah, there was this person. There was this person. They had deeper revelations. <laughs> so, but by the time I'm busy praying and they come, they say, well, I, I'm fasting. Okay, I, I will join you. So they started visiting me because I said I'm fasting. Ah! 
The other time they came with a deeper revelation, God hears you. As long as you have set your heart to say you want to do it, God has heard you. Once you have said you want to do it, already in heaven it's already an action because the Bible says if you look at your woman lustfully, you have already committed adultery. So the moment you decide or think about it, in heaven it's registered you have already done it. Amen. So uh, even if you just already, the fact that you were committed and you wanted to do it, don't worry. It's done. <laughs> ah, this revelation confused me. Uh, but I kept on holding, I'm going to fast. Ah! The next thing, they came with a pie, and pie is my favorite. Hey. <laughs> the second day, they came with a pie. <laughs> uh, don't, don't, don't worry, uh, you, you have already fasted half a day, you just, you know, yeah. let's fellowship. Let's, it's, it's like Holy Communion, let's fellowship. <laughs> okay, men of God. <laughs> the next day, they came with peanuts. Say, man, you know when, when you, you need peanuts, peanuts make you to drink more water so that you don't dehydrate. Ah! The next day when I saw them, I knew that my destiny was under attack. I remembered Peter said to mark them and avoid them. Hear me? <laughs> when you are at a place where you have committed yourself, you wonder the battles that are rising. Making sure that whatever you are targeting on, you lose your focus. Faithful God, I will hold on you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than me. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? I said, am I communicating to somebody? You will find that the, the, the enemy would want you to bring to that place where your trust in God is drained. Your tank of trust hemorrhages until you become leaking to a point where you no longer have anything in the reserve. Where people tell you that God is able, you say maybe he is able. Uh, why? Because most of the times the second thing the devil uses are people where you begin to compare your life with others. I became a believer before you became. Why are you having more evidence than me? I hear what I'm saying. Amen. When you see your life getting to a place where you compare your success, where you compare your spiritual life, where you compare yourself with somebody else, know that your life is under attack. Your destiny is under attack. Because our miracles do not come this, the same day. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. It doesn't happen the same day. We are coming from different places. Created for different purposes. We can never be the same. We can never be the same. Penina had children. Seven children before Hannah. Hannah had a child. And Hannah's child was written first Samuel, second Samuel. We never hear any name of Penina's child in the Bible. It might be a delay, but it's a perfect delay. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Certain battles you are going through, you need to hold on on the promises of God. I know God is faithful. Something uncommon will happen in my life. I understand I'm going through different battles, but what I know is that my Redeemer liveth, and he will rise on the last day. What I know is that the Bible tells me that God is not a man that he can lie. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. When you read your Bible, the Bible tells us about a woman called Elizabeth. Amen. The Bible, when it tells us about Elizabeth, listen. Elizabeth was a wife of a priest. And the Bible says they were righteous before God, they were blameless before God, but they were barren. They were what? Righteous, righteous faithful before God and men, but barren. Being at that place, you wonder what more you should do. Where you understand that you are, you, you are, you are faithful before God. Where you understand that you are at a place where you, you are a child of God and you know that you are following everything that is in the presence of God. But seems as if your life 
is not having the evidence or the results that you must be having. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. The reason was not because they were barren. There was a battle going behind the scenes. Because Elizabeth was supposed to give birth to a child called John the Baptist, who was supposed to become the forerunner of Jesus. So the more John the Baptist is delayed, the more Jesus is delayed. So the battle of the barrenness of Elizabeth is not your own battle. If John delays, Jesus will delay. If, and if Elizabeth dies, <laughs> we need to replan our plan. I hear what I'm saying. Because the Bible tells us Jesus will not come until John comes. And John is the one to introduce Jesus. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? There are people that are listening to me now. The enemy has been trying you, but the faithful God is going to answer you. When you read your Bible in the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 6, the Bible says, being confident of this very same thing, that he who has begun a good thing in us is faithful and just to accomplish it. I am confident. There is something that God has started in my life. I am confident. There is something that God has begun in my life. I am confident. Be confident of this very same thing Amen. that he who has begun a good thing is faithful and just to accomplish it it is not on my merit no somebody began something that they will finish it is not that I am capable the one who began it is a to accomplish it. Oh God, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name that is above every other name. Whatever that God began, he will finish in the name of Jesus. I say he will finish in the name of Jesus. You are not created to suffer. You are not created to be broke. You are not created that your destiny cannot be fulfilled. Being confident of this very same thing. The one who began a good thing in you is faithful and just to accomplish it. I came to decree and to declare over your life in the name that is above every other name. Whatever God began with your life, whatever God began with your destiny, it shall be accomplished. I say it shall be accomplished. I say it shall be accomplished. Sit down, cross your legs and shout, I'm in charge. Shout, I'm in charge. Shout, I'm in charge. It does not matter what has been happening in your life. The faithfulness of God shall be seen manifesting in your life. Am I communicating to somebody here? There are people that go through difficult situations. Abraham never thought a breakthrough would come, but he kept on holding hope against hope. You are at a place where it seems you are at a disadvantage, but I want to tell you that hope is on the way. There is something that God is going to do. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Faithful God. Amen. Faithful God. Amen. He's not moved by where you are coming from. He's not moved by your location. He's not moved by how much you have in your pocket. No! Faithful God. Oh. Faithful God. Amen. Joseph has been sold as a slave. Put in a dungeon, but God comes and fetches Joseph in the dungeon. Why? I spoke a word. In a dream, I told you, you shall rule. It does not matter you are a slave. Every place you shall go, my word shall come to pass. I don't know where you are and where life is hidden you. I see God taking you there. Faithful God who take you to that place. Where is the God of Bethel is coming to where you are. I say God is coming to where you are. 
I say, God is coming to where you are. God is taking you from a place of a non-entity to a place where you become a majority. God is taking you from a place where you are a nini pusher to a place where you become a gargantua. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? There is somebody listening to me under the sound of my voice. You are like Joseph. While others are progressing, you have been sent to the bush. While others are progressing, oh, David, you are right in the bush. But I heard Samuel declares, where is David? I need to anoint him to become a king. God is going to locate you from the back side of life. You come to the front side of life. Lift up your voice and shout fire. Fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Nothing is impossible with God. Am I communicating to somebody here? God is not looking for your resume. God is not looking for where you are coming from. God is saying, I am able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think. It's not about you. It's about me. Am I communicating to somebody? Somebody here, there is something that God is about to do. He's about to catapult you. I say he's about to catapult you. Men look upon you. They've put you at the back side of the line. But the Bible says, you are not the tail, but you are the head. I came to decree and declare the faithfulness of God shall be seen in your life. I said the faithfulness of God shall be seen in your life. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than me. I said, Yeshua Hamashiach. The Bible declares in the book of in the book of Isaiah chapter number forty. The Bible says he spreads the clouds as the curtains of his heavens. He looks at the sons of men and they are like grasshoppers. He is Yeshua Hamashiach. That I am that I am. Hear me. The power of God is uncontained. The power of God is undefeatable. And I heard God say, do you know that I dwell in the inside of you? Child of God, you are entering a season where you are about to experience uncommon breakthroughs. Child of God, you are about to experience a season where the things you are going to see God do, it's not out of your own merit. It will be out of the power of God. I say it will be out of the power of God. Oh, the Bible declares from the book of Peter, the Bible says, according to his divine power, he has given us all things that pertain to this life and unto godliness. I see God supply for you. I say, I see God supply for you. I see God supply for you. The windows of heaven are about to be opened. You don't serve the dead God. God, you serve the mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. Yeshua Hamashiach, the God that answers prayer. I said the God that answers prayer. I said the God that answers prayer. He's answering your prayer. He's answering your prayer. He's answering your prayer. He's answering your prayer. Your situation is changing. Your family is changing. Your predictions Command is changing. It cannot remain like that. You cannot remain like this. Open up your mouth and begin to pray. There is a change. There is a change. Prataya, Prataya, Eko Basanda, Ebrazo Tando Kaya, Plande Katon Zapaya, decree and declare, God is not a man, God is not a man.
Ay, 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 ay. A breakthrough is coming. A miracle is coming. In the name of Jesus. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. There has to be a change. There has to be a change. Faithful God. Faithful God. Faithful God. Aya Kabala Shatai Zalo Sande Kaya Taya Faithful God Faithful God Yele Barasanda Bratan Setayo Kosha Oh Yanamasai Brande Katum Salakatai The faithfulness of God The faithfulness of God some of you have been in situations where you are looking right now with the scope of your eyes. It seems as if it's impossible. It seems as if you can't cross over. The same God who opened the Red Sea for the children of God to Ayaka Messiah is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He does, he does not change. I say he does not change. You cross over that situation. Am I communicating to somebody here? I say you cross over that situation. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? You are listening to me now. You are saying, how will my finances change? The faithfulness of God. The faithfulness of God. I said, the faithfulness of God. I said, the faithfulness of God. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. Lead me to the rock. We are going to pray. Manto Kasai, Barros Atande Kataya. We are going to pray. If it is not God, then who? If it is not God, then who? You are going to go before God. If God does not help you, then who can help you? God is, I come to you. God is, I come to you. God is, I come to you. With your faithfulness, may you change my life. May you change my life. With your faithfulness, may you change my life. If you don't answer my prayer, who can answer me? If you don't in the Intervene. Who shall intervene? Oh, faithful God. Oh, faithful God. Oh, faithful God. Oh, faithful God. You need the power of God into that situation. You need the power of God into that life. You need the power of God into my Sandakai. Oh, ya na 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 kuwa shatai. Broko na kaya katumba la katumba na katai. Reke deke ya katambele katua. Gratumba la shkatai. Leke deke la kabaratua manatuai. Rakabada katia erata. Faithful God. Faithful God. Faithful God. I am a Sunday Katoa, Mashala Pando Kaparatia, Zalo Tanama Shayakai, a brand Katalamando Koa, Ele Kaparata, Faithful God, Faithful God, Faithful God, Faithful God, Yakapalashata, Ebra Katando Kaya, Abalate Kayapa, Rande Kalabada Kashenama, Ebra Katela, Rekadaka Yakatom. Faithful God, 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 Yakabon Shataya, Eparata Ton Satoa, Arotala Matenta Lade, Parata Labatua Knife, Era. Erataya, 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 Akobalatakai, Raya Taya, Agagagagagaga, 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 Rataya, 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 Igatualato, Rekataya, Mande Kabala Katimanda Kateida, Bratwande Katai, Ibuatande Katai, Ibuatande Katai. Ibuatande kata faithful God, my God, my God, my God, my God, Mashande kataya, from everlasting to everlasting, Lord, you remain faithful. I said, Lord, you remain faithful. I said, Lord, you remain faithful. Palato kasande kataya. 
Oh, Yakana Mataya, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, wherever you shall step your feet, possess and overtake. Wherever you shall step your feet, possess and take dominion in the name and the blood of Jesus. Stretch your hands, stretch your hands. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, with those same hands, I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever you touch, I command increase. I command increase. I command increase. I command multiplication. I command multiplication. I command multiplication in the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Multiplication. Increase. Increase. Increase, increase, increase. I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your hands shall not be dry. Your wallet shall not be dry. Your pantry shall not be dry. The faithfulness of God, you shall not be dry. I say you shall not be dry. I curse every dry season. I curse every dry season. I curse every dry season. Abundance is your portion. I say abundance is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. With the very same hands, I decree and I declare, may they magnetize and create wealth. I say, may they magnetize and create wealth. I open your eyes to opportunities in the name of Jesus. Your eyes are being opened to opportunities by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your ears are being opened to hearing God clearly in the name of Jesus. I decree and I I declare and so shall it be in the name of Jesus I command your mind to become creative from this day your mind your intelligence shall become creative I speak ideas that shall bring wealth to your house in the name of Jesus where men say you can't do it may the power and the enabling of the Holy Ghost carry you may the Holy Ghost carry you I say may the spirit of the living God carry you in the name and the blood of Jesus. The Lord shall silence every battle. Every tongue that was rising against your name, rising against your, 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 your reputation, rising to defile, deform, and defame you, I decree, may the Lord silence them. I say, may the Lord silence them. I say, may the Lord silence them. I say, may the Lord silence them. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, you cannot be stranded in this life. Under the economy of God, you shall not be stranded. May the Lord supply your needs. From the east, from the west, from the south, and from the north. May the Lord supply for you. I said, may the Lord supply for you. May the Lord supply for you. In that business you are doing, I decree in the name and the blood of Jesus. May the Lord send customers. May the Lord send helpers. May the Lord send customers. May the Lord send customers. May the Lord send partners from the east, from the west, from the north, and from the south. They are coming in the name of Jesus. The Bible says your sons and daughters shall come from afar and they shall come with their gold. I decree, may the Lord open the eyes of your destiny helpers to locate you. May people see your value and be able to, 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 to bring value into your life. I decree in the name and the blood of Jesus. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. Anything you touch, nothing shall die. Nothing you touch with your hands shall die. I speak life. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. You are faithful and apart from you there is no other. You remain the same. I pray for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Where there's been a limitation of the flesh, may the spirit carry over. Amen. I say, may the spirit carry you from there. Amen. May the spirit carry you from there. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus. Where there's been a limitation of the flesh, may the spirit carry you into another level, into another dimension. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we bless your name because you are God. Parose atalakapai. You shall have the last laugh in life. Amen. They might have laughed over your situation, your predicament, your life. I say you shall have the last laugh. Amen. Faithful God. He's not a man that he can lie. Nor is he the son of a man that he can repent. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your word. We pray that you may your word be a fruit. We pray, mighty God, that may your word be a fruit and everybody who hears your word. May they come to a place where they will experience the manifestations of the spirit. Amen. May you intervene and may it be you. May the testimony be I trusted in the Lord and the Lord never put me to shame. Amen. I trusted in the Lord and the Lord never made me to be in shame. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. God be with you. Let's just celebrate God in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, celebrate God. Come on, somebody, celebrate God. Celebrate God, celebrate God, celebrate God, somebody. In Jesus' name, we bless the name of the living God. Praise God, praise God. Wherever you are watching from, you want to give into the house of the Lord, inbox us or take the details that are on your screen or on our social medias. In Jesus' mighty name, as you give, as you give to God, I believe beyond any doubt that God is going to bless you. You are going to see the increase of the living God and the faithfulness of God over your life in Jesus' name. Let me just pray as you are holding your offering or you are giving via any place where you are around the world in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. As we have heard your word, we pray that may your word produce fruits. And may we enjoy the fruits in the name and the blood of Jesus. You decreed in your word and said, if you shall be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Lord, in the name and the blood of Jesus, we know beyond any doubt, we shall eat the good of the land. Amen. We love you, Lord, and we bless your name. Lord, we say, do what no man can do and take all the glory in the name that is above every other name. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your grace, and thank you for your power in Jesus' name. God bless you. God be with you. Praise God. You can come and give as we pray and um, we worship God. Praise God.